Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Wemimo and I'm also known as that Mama 5. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. So today, to be honest, I was not sure if I want to record this because I already started on my hair. So today I'm going to show you how I braid my hair at home with using extensions. As we all know, we are all on lockdown in the UK. Hairdressers are not opened. We have to maintain social distancing so you can't really go to somebody else's house to get your hair done or you can't really invite somebody to your house to get your hair done so i thought why not i'm going to come in here and show you how i braid my hair so without wasting much time i'm just going to show you the things i'm going to be needing so the first thing is um hair expression this one is ultra braid and i've got color 27 color 27 and it's not pre-pulled and this is what it looks like i don't think the camera is doing it justice it's really not blonde it's like mid blonde and it's really not yellow it's looking like yellow in the camera right now but it's not yellow so i've got that i got two bundles of that because i really want like i want like a box braid not too big not too small because i've got really fine hair and i'm also going to be using this um this um pomade hair pomade just kind of like rub around the hair you're going to be needing um white tooth comb yeah white tooth comb and also a rat tail comb so like i said i already um started because i was not sure if i want to record this so i'm going to turn around to show you what it looks like now so normally i would i will make a line across like that and go side to side so you can as you can see here i already started with three i already started so i'm just going to be getting some hair extensions and i'm going to do this so in this video i'm not going to show you how to braid i'm not going to teach you how to braid i just want to show you how i braid my own hair using extensions so i already got my pre-pulled hair there we go and i'm going to get just a bit i don't want it to be too bulky because you know braids will be can be too heavy when um you you braid your hair so i'm just going to take that amount maybe a little bit more a little bit more of that extension this is how long it is there we go so i've got some um pomade which i'm just going to rub around the hair just like that pardon me guys if i'm looking down i'm trying to look in the mirror because i'm walking half blind now <laughs> so and i'm gonna portion this into half so one section is going to be tiny one section is going to be as half of that and half of that and i'm just going to cross it and then I will turn round to show you how I attach this to my hair. Try as much as possible to ensure you pick all the hair. You don't want any loose hair, especially your own hair. Weave tightly closed at the beginning, which is what I'm doing. And then continue braiding down. I hope you guys can see that. And then I bring this over like that see and then i continue to braid I'm gonna turn around so that's the braids coming down there I 
it's a very beautiful color Right, that's it braided hope you guys can see it and that's all for braided so i'm gonna turn around again so i can show you how i part the line see the pattern and I'm gonna get my to comb that out I'm gonna grab some air extensions again like I said I don't want it to be too big and I don't want it to be too small I just want like a medium size um, medium size braids that's another extension there I'm halving it crossing it and then I'm gonna turn around again so I can show you how I do it like when I'm patting the single plat I don't really care if the lines are straight or not. I just use my fingers to pat as I go. So I'll show you how I do that. I hope um, I've been able to explain how I was able to um, line and get that um, pattern for the back section so right now I'm gonna call continue doing a here to here line here to here line until I get to the top around this section so I can show you how I do the front bit so I'll keep doing that and once I get halfway to the top I'll come back and bring you guys along on how I finish the front okay a few moments later right guys i'm almost finished with this hair just a bit more to go so as you can see i've been going line by line line by line that's what i've been doing and like i said i don't want this hair to be too heavy there we go so i've been doing line by line so lines here to here same thing for this side line by line line by line and this will protect my hair a lot for the time duration that i needed it for line by line let's see if i can turn to the side so you can see 
so this is what my hair is looking like at the back this is what it's looking like at the back and the lines are not straight i don't mind but at least i've got my hair in braids so this is what my hair is looking like at the back so i've just got this section the last line to finish just there guys this is the last part of this hair i'm about to put down now let's get it done i don't know if you can see i'm trying to get the last part of it done i'm done with my hair i'm done with my hair so with the way it is i can you know position it into any style any style at all so now what i'm gonna do is um dip the ends in alt water this hair oil it's from um anti jackies so i'm gonna use it to massage my scalp and i'll be back gonna use this mousse i bought it online from nn ninja naturals it's a uk glasgow based um small business i will leave the name of the brand somewhere here you can purchase it online and i'll take this and i'm gonna smooth it over my braids it's just helped me lay it properly like laid flat before I dip it in hot water so I've got my hot boiling water here guys be careful when you're doing this okay hot boiling water I'm very careful and I've got a towel that I'm going to place on my lap so that when I take this hot water off it won't be dripping all over me so I'm going to spot this braid ends of the braids in it just to seal the ends hope you guys can see what it looks like and be careful where you're doing this so you don't burn yourself there we go leave it in for a few seconds all right so i've taken it out of the hot water and this is what it looks like so i'm going to show you so i'm going to try and trim off the wiggly ends just the wiggly hands cut that off and voila that is my diy braids done on a normal day if i were to do this go to a salon to do this it would um cost me about 60 pounds just for me to pay the hairdresser for this i'm just going to turn around so you see what it looks like at the back i hope you guys can see it i'm quite happy with this towel like I can <laughs> pack it into any section that I want. I'm just so happy. Like, look how that bun is sitting on top of my head. It's an easy DIY that you guys need to do. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. And I'm quite happy with it. And if you have enjoyed this video and you are yet to subscribe to my channel, do not hesitate to click on the like button, click on the subscription button, also turn on your post notification and share this video as well so we can all get to braid our hair ourselves at home. Thank you so much and I hope to catch up with you in my next video. Bye.